Hey guys, I'm gonna find a way to basically, these switches aren't really working very well because the connectors are getting, I guess, pretty old or something. This is a Honda Civic 2008. And I realized that some of these switches sometimes don't work, um, but they do connect and work, but sometimes my windows don't move when they move them. So I had this happen before about, you know, a few thousand miles ago, but uh, it's about time to actually clean these things out and make sure these switches have good contacts. And it's already, this car already has over, 150,000 miles. So let's do it. So we're gonna go ahead and let's take this part off. So basically you want to work your way underneath by sliding a card underneath it and just opening up the pins a little and Bring it right out. So, put the card underneath, open up the, there's a few clips on the bottom, and it slides out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and uh, take control, the main controller off and um, go ahead and clean it a bit. But first, there are a few things underneath to these plugs to take off. And I should really have a screwdriver, but your fingernail will work. And just depress a little button on the bottom. There's a little clip down here that you have to press that unlocks it. You pull it out. Same thing for this side. The tiny little clip back there. And you're just gonna depress that and slide it out. So yeah, okay, we got it off. Yay! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it in and we're gonna take off the screws, open it up, and check those connectors on the switches. So these connectors get old and gunk dust, dust and stuff just goes in it and it doesn't work as well and sometimes I lose contact. So we're just gonna open it up a little later and take a look at it. Okay guys, so we took off a 2008 Honda Civic Master Control window unit and these some of these keys are kind of sticky. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna basically take this apart clean the contacts a little for these uh, for these window switches and then put it back into the car. We just got a video, saw the video of how to take it off the car so we're going to go ahead and clean these things up. So let's just start doing it now. Just get a Phillips screwdriver, there's about four screws. Let's go ahead and do it. screws off, take those off, that aside, I want to clean it a bit. Alright. Actually it might be good to actually multiple, have multiple cards. So I'm gonna use a lot of bunch of gift cards. I'm not sure why I have so many gift cards for so once you get two or three of these across you could slide it pretty much take it off. So one of the covers came off and we better do it the other side too. After you get two cards in, So by sliding two cards in, it takes off these little wedges, you slide it off. Now that's done. That's it. It comes off. Okay, here's the fun part. The fun part here is, it's actually that simple. Each of these toggles actually move these two switches, right? So click, 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 click. And to clean those, you have to actually get inside here. 
Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So we'll go and do one of these first. So basically you have to work each of these off slowly. And on the other side slowly each of these off. And there's these little clips that have to work off of them. So I'll take those things off. And slowly get these things. One by one. you see each one has two switches so the switch goes back and forth and it has contacts sometimes those contacts get really really bad look at all that gunk on it so it's those the gunk on the contact is not making making it have contact and it's causing it to not work every so often so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up some of these contacts and you know make it work better These are switches. And she moves that rocker switch in the bottom. It's a little bit of grease or something, but it goes back and forth. So we're taking that one out. It's the tweezers and pull this guy out. There are contacts on both sides, and if you can see, there is some um, dirt and rust and oxidation happening on these switches. So I'll go ahead and take this out. Probably put some grease or something light on it because it is just filthy. Look at that. There is a layer of if your if your switch doesn't work, there is a layer of oxidation on it. So you could tell from here there is a bunch of oxidation. See? It's all rust. Or dirt or something, but there's a lot of it. Scratch it off, and I don't know where this oxidation is coming from, but it's both on the contact rocker switch and on this inside part. If you look down here, this is actually caked full of this oxidation rust type stuff. So, we're gonna have to clean this out and check out those. I know it's only this switch that has it, so. But I'd rather open all of them up since we have it out and just clean out all those and probably put a small layer of um, dielectric grease or something there so it won't rust like this. So what we're going to do is we get some steel wool and a little brush and clean this up. But yeah, clean this guy. Just pretty straightforward. Just rubbing it. The brill pad, you can see all this basically oxidation. But usually she use steel wool, but I figured it's not really that much and we've cleaned this before. And that one's done. This side too, you can see that little pit of where it is full of some light oxidation. I'm gonna assume it's like just water moisture getting in there and stopping it from making a contact. So I'm give that a nice cleaning. This actually rides as a little I think this rides on top of it, so it shouldn't do much. Now for down there, I'm gonna go ahead and use a pair of tweezers and shove it down there and just clean that contact out. Clean, 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 clean. And just try to get as much of that stuff out. Try to figure out what I need to do as a look at that. All that dirt. 
It's all brown now. But there's definitely a lot of um, stuff happening in there. It's a little better. It's just a lot of... I should really use some steel wool or something a little more abrasive, but this will work. as much rust. Okay, let's clean it. Plenty of dirt here. Oxidation. Now we're basically just cleaning it out. I'm adding a little bit of al rubbing alcohol on it to get rid of any of the debris. And I'm using a Q-tip to basically rub off any of the oxidation we rub with the brill pad and also clean out all the the oxidation inside and making sure it's clean and we rinse it out of alcohol so we can actually um, keep it nice and clean inside. So just rubbing it with more alcohol and a soft Brillo pad and a Q-tip and we're just cleaning out each of the pots and making sure there's no oxidation in each of them. Clean, 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 clean. Basically do this for all of the pots and make sure it's all clean. Okay, and now we're just doing a final rinse. We'll just add, use the alcohol to rinse it out and basically rinse it out and let it dry. We're just gonna dry it out that way. Um, I actually shake it about a few times and put some tissue paper to absorb any of the old alcohol and just let it dry up. So I'm using a Q-tip to actually dry it. Um, that way there's no, try to make sure there's no fiber in there as well. So I'll just quickly Q-tip it, dry it, rinse it out, clean it again. Now that it's all dried up, uh, what we're doing right now is basically getting some white lithium grease and adding it to the contact so it doesn't rust again. Um, I did it with another Honda Civic, 8th uh, gen Honda Civic, and basically it works well for after you know several several years. But what you do is basically get some white grease. Um, I, I got the spray type and sprayed it into the cap and basically took a Q-tip and basically after we cleaned it up and dried all the alcohol off with the Q-tips, we basically put a small layer of uh, white lithium grease on both the contacts and the rocker switch so that you know they won't have rust anymore. I am starting to think that it's probably either you know rain or maybe something else or maybe water moisture got caught in the in the switches with the windows open or the air conditioning might have sucked in air through the switches. If you ever put your hand over it, it sucks in air. That might have actually caught your dust in it or water moisture, so it's causing the contacts to you know corrode. Anyways. Quickly, we basically add a few, um, we lather it with a little bit of uh, white lithium grease and just let it kind of cake on dry. Uh, just have to be careful, the aerosol uh, lithium grease, they actually, it's quite liquid. So after you put it in, just make sure it uh, doesn't go anywhere, it dries before you actually plug anything back in. Now 
as you can see, I'm actually adding onto the rocker switches as well. So I just placed one rocker switch in and dabbed it with uh, grease again. And just make sure you pick, take care to see what direction those rocker switches are because there is a direction to them, but they only fit one way. Just make sure your switches uh, fit. Put the fit switches back on and then you go cap it back with a gray cap. They're all the same actually. And now that I actually look at it, they're all the same, so just cap it right on and it should snap back on. So you're going to do the same for each of the ones, uh, each of the other switches, except for the blue one. The blue switch is actually not really a switch at all, it's a slider. So that's why I didn't open it. It was working fine, I didn't want to open it. I opened it another one before, and it's just a slider switch in there. And usually that doesn't fail as much as these rocker switches. So I'm going to go ahead and just add the rest of those on and finish the job. Okay, now that I'm done with all four, I'm going to just snap the rest of the caps back on and the caps are back on. <laughs> so basically I'm just testing the switches real fast, click, 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 and just make sure everything fits in place and it's all snug and it still runs and works. So I'm going to take the, ca uh, the casing back on, align, you have to actually align that slider switch and then make sure all the other ones are centered. Then you basically cap it back on, be careful of that little spring on top, um, just put it right on it, make sure it's perpendicular and just push it down. Make sure the switches snap in place and go forward and back without any issues. And just double check one more time, then push it all the way down. And all you need to do is just put the black cover back on and slip the cover and you're done. And that thing's done. Um, like I said, make sure you, all the parts are in there before um, you close and snap that lid. Otherwise you get those credit cards again and just shove it in there and reopen it. Now that that's done, you know, just use a quick Q-tip and clean off any dust and you know hard to reach places on this on the board, so that you can clean it off and make it well. Hopefully, now that dust goes back into it. So just use a quick Q-tip and clean clean around the surface. Put the caps back on if you took it off, and we're gonna just mount this thing back onto that uh, the the other part. So you go ahead and put the screws back in. I'm not sure why I'm apparently I didn't record that. Um, after you get everything back in, slip it back on, reverse the process. Okay, basically, I put it back in, on. I put it back onto that main panel, put the four screws back oh, on, this thing back on you know, lock that down, and you're good to go. Um, basically, I think I also, you just basically slide it in, to be honest. All you do is slide in, put those four screws on, you're done. Okay, now that we're back in the car um, with the unit, I'm just going to put it back in. You just Leave, make sure the car is off for now and just plug in the first plug, make sure it snaps in, then plug in the gray one, you can't really see it's off frame, but plug in the second one, turn on the car and try out your windows. Now, make sure that those things work um, before you push this thing back into the, the side panel of the window. Um, so basically test, good, goes on up and down for the master, and then make sure your window switch is off. Right now I tested it first and it didn't move any of the windows and it kind of freaked me out. But it's not really that. It's actually because that little window lock is on. So you might want to make sure that window lock is off. See, I just turned it off. So now it works and it goes up and down and stuff. So just make sure that window lock is off. Now all the switches work and yay, both windows in the back work because before the rear driver's side window wasn't working very well and it worked half the time and the, also the passenger side. So I'm so glad that this is actually fixed. So anyways, test all the windows before you put it back in and you want to basically hook in um, the front of that trim first. So the front part where that mirror, left and right mirror part goes in the front of the, car, of the door first and then it slides down and locks in place. So take your time and just basically slowly do it. Again, you know, this is a, a like a hobby video and um, make sure you do all this stuff at your own risk. You know, basically, you know, use caution and safety first, of course. But of course, um, you know, <laughs> you're doing this to your own car, so I really suggest, you know, either you, if you don't do this, or you, you're scared of doing this, or you probably aren't mechanically inclined, you should probably send it to a mechanic or to your Honda dealership or something else. This is just purely a video for entertainment. So don't use this video as, you could use this as a how-to, but you know, of course I'm not liable for any of this stuff. So that's it. Go ahead and put it back in and you're all done. 
I hope this helps you guys, and I hope it's been educational and fun. To me, it's a, it's been fun too, just making videos like this. So if you do like this, please like, subscribe, or comment. You know, it's you know I've saved a lot doing this myself, and I'm trying to pass on the knowledge. Uh, but at the same time, like I said, you're at your own risk if you're doing this, and you're actually following a YouTube video to fix something. So just be, you know, be careful. Have fun out there.